This is the first time in over two years these two leaders are meeting. Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's declared intention of this visit is to hold a regular cabinet meeting, a message perhaps that the central government can hold meetings anywhere in Iraq. But the essence of the visit is to defuse a potential crisis. Maliki and the president of the Kurdish region, Mas'ud Barzani, have to solve issues that almost led to war. But after their meeting, there was no groundbreaking result, only plans to meet again. This is an important visit and the beginning to end all the problems. We agreed to form joint committees to solve the outstanding issues in a brotherly manner. We need understandings and mutual trust to reach total solutions. We need to put the obstacles on paper and then go through them individually. Brother Barzani and I don't have a magic wand, but we have our joint will and trust so we can find solutions. Oil is likely one of the main issues the two leaders discussed. The Kurdish regional government has been signing lucrative deals with the likes of ExxonMobil, Chevron and Turkish companies despite Baghdad's objection. It's also about to complete an exporting pipeline to Turkey, ignoring the central government. Kurdish officials say it's their constitutional right to run their own energy business. The other problem is the so-called disputed areas which the two sides say should be under their control. It includes the ethnically mixed and oil-rich city of Kirkuk. And Iraqi soldiers and Kurdish forces have come close to fighting over troop movement in these disputed areas. The Prime Minister's visit to Erbil is seen as an icebreaker and a positive step towards ending some of Iraq's political crisis. The two leaders agreed for further technical talks to end their differences. But without solving the problems once and for all, any escalation could lead to war or a breakaway of the Iraqi Kurdish region. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.